Hello. Uh, this video is uh, is to demonstrate uh, on Microsoft Excel how to calculate conditional probabilities from a data set. So this what you see is the data set uh, that I used in the slides, and I'm going to unload this Excel file with uh, the slides, so you can can follow me. Repeat what I do uh, on your computer with the same data set. So in this data set, uh, there are only two variables. The first variable is about high cholesterol uh, prescription. So whether a respondent is was ever uh, has ever been prescribed to a uh, medicine to lower cholesterol, and the second variable is whether the respondent has ever smoked. So. And, and it's simple, there are only two uh, answers, yes or no, to each question. And if you go down, there are, you see, the sample size is 7,888 observations. Um, there are, it's a huge data set, and quite recent one, uh, 2018. And now we want you to, we want you to calculate the conditional distribution here. To calculate the conditional distribution, what you, uh, we use the same pivot table command. So on insert and pivot table. I am using Excel uh, 2016, I think. So if you have a different version, still I believe it must be similar. Uh, or search for pivot table. Uh, pivot table is what we need, and if you click this uh, data range is given new worksheet, then we have the pivot table we have seen in the last uh, video when I demonstrate how to make a probability joint probability distribution table. We have the same uh, same thing here, and I am going to put smoking here and put anything here then you may remember this is a frequency frequency distribution table frequency distribution table for smoking the level is smoking yes or no smoked or not and here for better presentation i change the order click this and i sort it from z to a to put yes on the top and this is smoking uh, like frequency and to make a 2x2 two two table bring the other variable to columns then also we have so these are smoking yes smoked uh, no I have not smoked and this yes uh, this is no is cholesterol prescription and yes I was prescribed for cholesterol also I will flip the order using this. So we get 2x2 two two table and 2x2 two two, uh, frequency distribution table. What we learned last time was this. You may change. So what we want is we want to change the numbers, the content, how the numbers are defined. Here, instead of the count, I would like to use percentage. So you may choose sum or average, but it doesn't work here. And show the values as percentage. If you calculate the percentage, if you choose the percentage option, then you see the joint probability distribution table. It is a joint probability distribution table uh, with four different outcomes, two by two outcomes. And this is what you see in the slides. I am using this information uh, to start from and now if you want if you want a conditional probability what you can do here is instead of percentage of grand total i use column total or uh, row total it's up to you what you use uh well, it depends on the definition of conditional probability let's try column total here if you click that what you see here is 
uh, the sum within each column is always 100%. So the sum within each column is al always always 100%. And this column, this column was the those the individuals who have been prescribed for cholesterol before. So they have uh, a cholesterol medication. They are on. They was they were prescribed for cholesterol, and among them. So interpretation is among those who uh, was prescribed for cholesterol, 50.34% uh, have, have smoked before, and the other 49.66% have never smoked before. So we are calculating conditional probability within probability within this column, so within those who uh, have been subscribed for cholesterol. Similarly, if you come to this column, these guys have never been prescribed for cholesterol. So they do not have cholesterol problem. And among them, 38.47% have smoked before or, or ever smoked. Uh, and 61.53% uh, have never smoked ever. So this calculates this calculates conditional probability uh, conditional probability of smoking given high cholesterol and co conditional probability of smoking given uh, not having a cholesterol problem, right? This was how we get the conditional probability uh, conditioned on given uh, cholesterol problem. So we use cholesterol problem as the conditioning event. But alternatively, if you want to change the condition, so I want to change the condition to, uh, like, so I want to condition on smokers or non-smokers, never smokers, then you switch column total, percentage of column total to percentage of row total. If you change the option, then now probability is calculated within each row. So these guys, these guys are smokers. Uh, they are smokers. So among smokers, 80.11% was uh, prescribed for cholesterol. And the other 19.89% has no uh, have no cholesterol problem. So it is a conditional probability of cholesterol given smokers. And the other row, the second row, is, is for never smokers. So among never smokers, 71.3% uh, have cholesterol problem and 28.7% do not have cholesterol problem. So uh, this row total percentage of row total gives you conditional probability conditioned on smoking because smoking variable is here uh, but if you choose column percentage within column then that gives you the conditional probabilities conditional on cholesterol problems so it is it is uh, it is easy to change what you have so you may just play with that uh, more, there are more options but it's not uh, these so so what I just demonstrated here is the pretty much the basic and most commonly used uh, option in on pivot table so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in in the next video